Good morning, world. Good morning. Today we're going to talk about a fun topic with Christmas right around the corner. Shopping online versus shopping in stores. Which one do you prefer? I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. This is Cedric and Brian. So this is going to be kind of a rant today because <laughs> I bought this tree, and my wife ordered it, and it doesn't work. So the convenience of actually getting it delivered to your house is ruined by us having to take it back to Home Depot. So we went to Home Depot. We liked the tree. We saw a few trees she liked. She said, I'm going to wait and see if there's a Black Friday sale or something. So she waited. She ordered it. So we got the tree early, which was exciting. So I put it together, and it's a flock tree. Flocking everywhere. Mother flocker. The flock? <laughs> <laughs> so I put the first piece up. I don't know if you have these pre-lit trees. So I put the first piece up, works great. Put the second piece on. Doesn't work. Lights aren't coming on, we're calling. Finally I said, you know what, let's see it'll fit in the car. Um, it's a, we're the same here, we? you should, you should have I thought it'd be easier to order online. You know, this would be a good topic for our viewers to talk about the pros and cons of ordering online versus going to the store and buying it. All right, here we go. Back to Home Depot. Taking the Christmas tree back. I get over here and he's covered in the, the artificial Flocking. white flock from a Christmas tree that you didn't buy from the store. My wife ordered it online. Do you think you would have had a better experience if you just went to the store originally and just bought it? Well, we didn't, we didn't know if it would fit in the car. We don't have a truck. My wife thought, okay, well, we'll just order it. It's free delivery, so if that's her favorite thing, it's free delivery. Oh, well, you can't go wrong there. So we put it in the car and uh, take it back to Home Depot. So we're on our way back to Home Depot. We're gonna exchange it, <clears throat> then we'll put it back together and my wife gets to pick flock up off the ground once again. All right, we're pulling into Home Depot here. Faulty Christmas trees. It's Black Friday today, so they're probably all here buying stuff. Oh, that's right. A little warning this time, be helpful. Here we are at Home Depot. Oh. Get back there, they don't have any in the store. Well, you have them here. That tree right there. Oh, it's is a Walmart. Oh, it's like it's not ours. It's probably just a display. So I got the money back. My wife used partly a uh, e, e coupon, e credit or something. Oh, well, you can't use that in the store, sir. You're gonna have to. We're gonna have to email that back to you. I emailed it back. It doesn't go immediately. I told my wife, okay, order another tree so we get it in time. You know, Christmas is right around the corner. So we're waiting. I finally go back to the lady. I say, can you just give me a store credit and we can just order it right here? Nope, can't do that. So we're waiting. Finally, comes through the email. My wife orders it again. So we're walking from the parking lot where they did not have any okay. trees. So um, okay. now we, we had it. to just get our money back and then we order <laughs> online and hope the next one works. What's going on? I missed everything. So anyways, we're headed back home. We'll have to wait for another tree. So that goes back to the subject. You order something online for convenience, but now we took, what, 45 minutes? About 45 minutes. On Black Friday traffic, Black Friday, people everywhere in the store for an online order. So. Sorry, that's my rant for the day. I know, I know. I had a second rant. Well, because I gotta get out of the damn people. <laughs> here, this is, what, this is what kills me. See the cart right here? There's the cart return. They couldn't walk too f It's always the end of the Christmas spirit. <laughs> the Brian who stole Christmas. Uh, you're seeing my Christmas anger. <laughs> All right, I'm done ranting. I, I think that's the main reason why a lot of people don't like to shop in the stores, especially during this time of the year, with to actually leave your house. And here's the thing, here's, here's the, the benefit of shopping online versus going to the store. You're at home, you're in your pajamas, you're <laughs> drinking a cup of coffee. But I do like the convenience of shopping online because 
it's usually it's, it's quicker, it's more convenient, and you don't have to, you can avoid crowds. Mm -hmm. Now, some people go out just for that very reason because, like I said before, I'm a very personal person, and we ran into someone that we knew at Home Depot. Yeah, and she recognized us as Cedric and Brian. Well, well, Cedric and the other guy. Cedric and the random, or the, or the white guy, the random white guy. And so, and believe it or not, it's weird. Some people love being out in the crowd. So I think I think my mom enjoys that. My mom can't wait for Black Friday because I think she loves the being out in the stores and being in, around people and feeling the, the the hubbub and all the excitement of being in the stores. This is kind of since you went on your little digression thing. I talked to my sister about reading books versus audiobooks. Now me, I'm kind of old school. I have to I have to touch the book. I have to touch it, feel it, and turn it. My sister said she likes to listen to it. Oh, I got you. I said, that's not the same thing. She goes, it's, it's exactly the same. I said, no, it's not. So some of you talked about shopping. Some people say, well, going to the store, that's shopping. Buying it online, that's not really shopping. But I guess it's all your preference. I think it depends on what you're buying. For clothes, most of the time, you want to put it on, see what it looks like, and if it fits. Don't they have something now where you can like, What's to call it? An avatar of yourself? And you can try the clothes on the avatar oh, yeah. of yourself? And that's all getting better. They actually have... This is amazing. So for online furniture shopping, you can have an app on your phone. Ikea, I know, has this. Mm -hmm. So you can buy it online, but you actually have what's called um, augmented reality. So you have, have a picture of your house. So you take a picture, or it's actually live. It's video. It's on. You place the piece of furniture in that room, and you can walk around it. It'll actually set that piece of furniture. Oh, so if you buy an it, ottoman with a bedroom, you can like set it like yeah, you just set area. it there and then walk around it. It's absolutely amazing. This is terrible for brick and mortar businesses because right. it's getting harder and harder. And when you go through shopping malls now, in our mall at the Crossings, we just saw Bed Bath and Beyond out of business, uh, World Market out of business. They say now malls, you basically have to have entertainment type places like Dave and Buster's. That's yeah. the only thing that are going to work there. Because everybody goes and they shop online. This, and I can't blame them. This ties into, I mean, we're, we're blessed to live in this country because yeah. technology is so incredible nowadays. But my mom, you know, being old school as she is, when she goes to the grocery store, she refuses to go to those automated checkout counters. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, mom, how come you don't like doing that? She goes, well, it's stealing jobs away from the checkers. Because you can buy everything at those automated checkout counters with the exception of alcohol yeah. that you can go to the actual real person for. But it's, it's the world we live in. Technology is taking over everything. And it's and it happens every generation. I mean, they've they said that about any the industrial revolution. Up, oh, that's getting rid of all those jobs. But you can't put the genie back in the bottle. It's there, so you have to learn how to adapt to it. I personally like the uh, being able to shop in my underwear, <laughs> and I like a day to day. So I mean, we live in California, so it doesn't rain that much. It doesn't snow. But let's say you lived in you're in Chicago right now. You know, and there's three feet of snow. Right. Very nice to be able to shop online. Exactly. I mean, you go way back to Sears and J.C. Benny. They had catalog things where you could order things online. You know, people even said that. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? You're ordering from a catalog. You know, you're putting people out of work. Well, now it's just a digital catalog. That's what me and my sister did. We were talking about that about two or three weeks ago. We used to be excited when the Sears catalog would come to our house because we let both the catalog and I think she had a, a blue color pen and I had a red color pen. And our parents would give it to us and we would circle the things that we wanted out of the catalog. And the last point I want to make is, so there's online shopping. There's of course the big, big company, Amazon. Everybody uses Amazon now. For one, convenience, everything is in one spot. I mean, you can buy everything from electric drills to Christmas presents to clothes to now even groceries. So they're obviously the biggest, but you can, like the Christmas tree I talked about before we bought that on, on Home Depot. Uh, on, uh, just on their online version and it was actually cheaper than Amazon so sometimes you can find deals out there that aren't not just Amazon but it's still online shopping uh, the convenience of some of those is like we brought the tree back to Home Depot if you find that convenient what do you guys think do you like shopping online do you think it's bad for society do you think it's it's just one of those things where it is what it is it's you're not going to change it so you have to adapt uh, so we want to know what you think. Where do you like to shop? Do you like Amazon? Do you not like Amazon? I know people will not shop on Amazon because they think it's taking all the jobs. So. Right. And I got this down. <laughs> it's going to be the first time. Put this down day in infamy. We want you to like, subscribe, and ring. I'm Cedric. I'm Brian. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>